So Renee Watson takes home the gold. Yes! <laughs> okay, so you're sitting in the audience. Your name is called. Mm -hmm. What do you remember? Let's see what she remembers. Instant recall. I remember screaming. I remember, no, I remember hearing the other cast members screaming. <laughs> and um, it was very exciting. I didn't expect to win. I'm glad that I did. Um, and I want to remember to thank my agents who believed in me and Amy Abel for submitting me for this role. And the writers, I told them earlier, they do an incredible job on that show. You know, you can't do the work unless the, the, the writing is good. And, um, and poor Vanessa, who has to put up the Poor Vanessa. Poor Vanessa. Poor Vanessa. I tell you, I have to apologize to her. I know, you have to apologize before every action <laughs> before. you do on the show. Well, I have something to tell you. So my mom passed away of Alzheimer's last week. And I remember watching your oh, performance. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. But what was so touching to me was your scenes with with Maurice, and with um, Max. Max, who's amazing, and so is Maurice. And you come in there and you explain to them, as the social worker from General Hospital, what's going to happen and how to deal with it. And we were going through that, my family and myself, with my mom at the same time. This is all happening. And I said to oh, myself, my and so I'm watching it. And I'm like, you were so real and authentic to me in that, but maybe because I was going through it, but also I, I was experiencing it, and I just thought you were so lovely in that performance. Thank you. So I didn't get a chance to tell you that till now because we haven't had a little so moment. Much. So, um, so I know much. Mom would love, yes. love this yes. for you today. Yes. So your work you affects people. You know yes, what I mean? yes, I know, I know, and that's why I try to do my best. I don't take it for granted. You know, the, the, the things that we're given in life and the places that we're put in life, we're put there for a reason. So I try to give it all. Well, you did. I mean, and I, I don't want to be around Aunt Stella. That's all I got to say. <laughs> I got to watch my step with Aunt Stella. She has a good heart, a as good you heart. can see, yes. So where will you put the Emmy? Um, I got to find a place. Um, Any thoughts? <laughs> I think it's going to go on my piano that's on in the, the living room, yes. And it's going to look good there. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's that's all the big Is enough. Is your place first for Emmy it. in your career? I got an individual Emmy, a local Emmy, in 1976. <laughs> but you were in Room 222. No, I was on Welcome Back Welcome Carter. Welcome Back Carter. Carter Country, yeah. um, Love Boats, uh, Fresh Prince, whole bunch of stuff. Do you like how's the pace of the soaps comparing to what you did on sitcoms? Well, first of all, you don't have much time to rehearse on soap operas, and you have a lot more lines. <laughs> so it's like, I call it acting aerobics. You know, you got to get in there and hit it and know what you're doing. Yes! <laughs> you got to get in there and know what you're doing and be ready. Right. Um, and the crew is so wonderful, and the directors are wonderful. It's just, it's just a good place to go to. Congratulations, Thank Renee. Thank you so much.